नमस्कार दोस्त मेरा नाम लोरी है आपसे मिलकर अच्छा लगा मैं हिंदी वीडियो आती हूँ वेलकम टू माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन सो ऑलरेडी बी शर टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड स्मैश दैट लाइक बिफोर वी गेट इनटू दिस नेक्स्ट बिट राइट सो टुडे आई वांट टू डू अ क्विक वीडियो अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लर्निंग हिंदी एंड लर्निंग अनदर लैंग्वेज स्पेसिफिकली फ्रेंच ओके सो माय एक्सपीरियंस इज As some of you will know, I am a native English speaker from Canada. And yes, in Canada we do learn French, and I learned French as a second language. I my French is not anywhere near as good as my English is. It is my second language well and truly. That being said, I did semi recently, I think about a year and a half ago, sit the DELF B2 exam here in Australia. Now, for those who don't know what the DELF exams Um it is essentially we have them in English I think it's the IELTS exam a lot of you will know who are taking that they have a Spanish exam a German exam you name it Quand j'ai réussi mon examen de DELF B2 j'étais très heureuse parce que ça veut dire uh, je peux parler le français couramment uh, presque couramment and it meant that I could go to a university a crappy one in France and just take like If I wanted to I could go to a university and study science in French or study arts in French or study you know just any normal subject like a normal French student um which was really really cool that was a really big milestone for me does it mean that my French is as good as my English is as I said before no it doesn't um but yeah you know I've got a certain level of French that being said every time I go to France or recently I was in New Caledonia or anywhere that has French um as a main language or even going to friends houses who have um French speaking friends from France or whatever I never feel comfortable speaking French and that's because and I'm making a blanket statement and I'm ready for the hate to roll in French people are very particular about their language and they can come across specifically Parisians I'm sorry if you're watching this and you're Parisian but y'all know this is true it's not be but your language so I will go up and simply want to order a coffee and I, I'll choke I'll in my brain I'll be like going up to the counter and I'll be like okay je prends un café je prends un café s'il vous plaît je now just be thinking all this stuff and I'll say it and they hear the slightest accent on me and they'll go oh l'anglais oh english english speaker oh uh you would like a coffee and I'll be like ah oh, yeah. yes please I'll have a coffee and I've had so many bad experiences that my friends have seen me um experience it a very funny where people will just say to me and it's not true oh your french is very bad and the lead i'm laughing and i remember one time i was in it wasn't belgium i think it might have been luxembourg and my friend shannon and i went to a chip shop and i simply ordered a very simple order of hot chips in french and the guy said to me in english oh, you know again uh, your french is very bad don't speak it and i was like okay a bit harsh um and because it was luxembourg i i tried i thought look i'll try ordering it in german and he said um your german essentially is even worse than your french feeling quite dejected um and shannon's laughing her ass at me at that point i just said can i please have an order of french fries thanks and then the guy said to me by far english is your worst language now <laughs> i may not have the best english in the entire world but i i dare say that i'm a fluent english speaker so and he was for the record an ass and he is working at a chip shop that's fine i'm not judging you if you work at a chip shop um but yeah and he was of native he was a native french speaker and he was in a bad mood and he took it out on me and he's probably living his best life now and you know married with kids and good for him he's on his journey but there is that stigma there's that enduring stigma about learning french that people find 
to be very intimidating to practice and there's good reason for that you know we've all had those experiences where we just get burned by a French person anyway in contrast of that I wanted to say my experience learning Hindi has been amazing Hindi speaking people are extremely welcoming to those who are learning their language. Of course, there will be some exceptions and there will be asshole Indians, just like there are asshole French people, asshole Canadians. Actually, there aren't many asshole Canadians, to be totally honest. Asshole Americans, asshole Australians, you name it. So, of course, I'm not saying all Indian people are nice. I'm not that naive. But living in Australia, there are a lot of Indian people here and Truthfully, every time I step out my door, I have the opportunity to speak Hindi in Australia. I'm very lucky. So as opposed to a lot of other languages here, like learning French, you wouldn't have the opportunity to try and practice French every day. So Hindi is great for that. And number two, when I do say anything in Hindi, it is met with such love and positivity and enthusiasm. I will literally say something at an Indian restaurant like Mujhe chai chaiye and people will go berserk. They'll be like, what? Oh my god, your Hindi is so good. You're, this is amazing. How did you learn it? And uh, your accent's great and all this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, wow, I'm feeling pretty good. I am awesome as opposed to French where you basically feel like an idiot the entire time. Um, so, and for the record, my Hindi is terrible. I know that. I know it's bad, but I just, it's something about um, learning this language where people are so friendly and so open and happy to share their culture and encourage you and give compliments. And it, it's really so inspiring. So I guess I wanted to say thank you for those of you watching who have been so helpful. Um, and. To those of us who are not native Hindi speakers, we really appreciate how welcoming you have been to us and to your culture. So, Dhanivad, um, Shukriya, and also Apkripa, hey, I, we appreciate it so much. Thank you. So look, as I said, it is not all French people that are jerks and not all Indian people are friendly, but it, they are stereotypes and they exist potentially for a reason. Maybe I'm opening up a can of worms here. Let me know in the comments down below what have been your experiences learning another language. For example, what has been your experience of learning English and dealing with native English speakers? I'd be super curious to know that. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and namaskar.